Hi and welcome to a short OEB modding video. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a steering axle to a trailer. And we're going to put one on the Joskin Betamax. So you start by unzipping. I'm going to go in and we need the Notepad++. Plus Plus. As you see here are the wheels. Obviously there's nothing about steering in there. But I want to just check the i3D as well. Make sure we're going to be playing with the right wheels. Obviously, there's the front. So if we position ourselves underneath, and we know which ones we're working on. Now, one, two, three, four, representing five, six, seven, eight. So we open up here. Five, six, seven, eight. So the ones we need to be putting a steering axle on are five and six. That was easy enough to find out. So the top two. There we go. Right, so we'll just close this down. We'll back up out of there. We're going to be going into the more realistic vehicles pack. We don't need to unzip this, we just need a few lines out of the XML. Go to trailers. Now I know the big cramp does have a steering axle. So we'll scroll across and here we go. Ta da! Now the plus ones are for the front wheels because it's steering the same way as the vehicle pulling. These ones are steering the opposite way, which makes the trailer follow the same sort of line. So shift and alt to select both lines. Go all the way across and I'm going to be taking all this information here. Right, so control copy. Come back into the Joskin. Uh, where was that positioned? It was positioned before damper, so we'll put it before damper. Again, okay, Shift Alt Space Control V, paste it in there like that. Now, if we come back in here, there's a little bit more information just here. Look, so we'll take this as well. Copy that. Bring it over here. Control V, paste it in. Now, if we save that, it's done. Simple as that. We now have a steering axle on the Joskin. If you've been watching the Let's Play, you'll know it got caught on a fence last episode. Then go back in here, organize, select all, add to archive, zip and delete. And I'll be back in five minutes to test and it in game. Welcome back. Now, as you can see, the wheel, the second wheel is turning, so as the tractor turns the corner, the trailer slightly follows it. Ever so slightly turning in. See, there we go. <coughs> it's now possible for the tractor not to lock itself on the trailer, and the trailer will follow the line of the tractor more, avoiding those tight corners, fence posts, and other such things. Right, thanks for watching the OEB modding video. Bye.